Shut the door. Thank you. Right. Is this is this the the thing? Is it? It's the welding. Oh, nice. So that broke there, but it was only spot welded around the edge here. Yeah. And uh, it, eventually it gave. Okay. So they needed more welding around the edge. This. Uh, is this base of a this swivel, this goes to the bottom of a chair? Right. Okay. Is it a, it's a swivel one? Is it or huge swivel chair? Okay. Uh, 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 Shades long, so it's huge. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stress on both. It's a heavy foot, isn't it? Anyways. Okay. Um, how long ago did that break then? Just recently. Okay. And was there any occurrence of it breaking, or did it just just break? Fell off. Fell off. Okay. <coughs> uh, slowly these bolts uh, broke and I f found those on the internet and replaced those okay. but I, uh, I've got super glue but uh, welding isn't one of my abilities no, no, it's not, not many people's abilities um, what sort of flooring is it on? is it on carpet? it's just on a carpet, yeah, carpet, yeah. yeah. big base, huge circular base Okay, and it's quite an old unit isn't it? yeah, it's 20 years old okay. So that's twenty seventy ninety four, isn't it? No, ninety five. Okay, forget him in two thousand fifteen. How how long ago would you say it broke? Month, week? Yeah, month ago. Month, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 I took it back to here, was, but it's under new ownership, but even so, they kindly agreed to send it back to the manufacturers right. in Italy. Okay. And uh, But uh, they wanted pictures, so I sent pictures and sent them to consumer yeah. things, and that lady, Linda, decided that she'd have it done here. Okay. So I went back and collected it, and uh, provided you got a welding torch, shouldn't be any problem. <laughs> It costs 500 to have a guy come out yeah. and weld it. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll, um, well, we'll write the report up. Um, is there any, would I be able to take a picture of the unit itself, yeah? Well, I can send you pictures. Um, we need to send, a, a, like, a dossier to the, what you call it, the, you know, the suppliers of... of yeah, they've the, got the pictures. They've got the pictures, okay, that's right. So where, so this, this is, like, the, the main... Sort of base this is, this is all, that all that's the only repair that needs to be done. Yeah. The, 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 just you know, if you will heat that off, that will m melt away. Yeah. And uh, and just re weld it more securely around the edge. Okay. So that there's a hole there you weld it through. Too old to bother to learn. I, I, I think there's a shop down the road that sells <laughs> rent out equipment. Right, okay. But it's probably not worth the trouble. No. You're best off leaving My that age. sort of thing to a professional, yeah. They're quite dangerous welding, apparently. A fantastic uh, chair because you, you're lying back. Like yeah. a chaise lounge, yeah. Watching TV, yeah. yeah. It's like those settees with the the foot that comes up with the recliners, yeah. But this is in the middle of the room. It swivels around. Nice. Yeah, it looks brilliant. Yeah. Beautiful leather, very expensive, thousand pound chair. Yeah. So twenty years so ago as well. It's quite expensive, well, isn't it? So it, 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 uh, they didn't realise that wasn't going to last the life of the chair. Mm. They need that was just spot welding around the edge, and that yeah, was that well, wasn't enough. It gave. Yeah, well, I so mean, it was a it was a faulty weld, right? Okay. Or design. So I just need you know to put extra bits of weld around the edge. Okay. 
Right, well, you know that's you know we'll we'll we'll, we'll send the pictures and the, and the of, of the welding and you know if that's the only way that it can be done if the you know um, then. You know, well, I'm obviously, sure you obviously all parties have to agree. Uh, we, we're just we're just an independent. I understand party that. Now. I understand your insurers and you're going to give a report. But if you haven't got a welding torch, uh, you shouldn't be in the business. <laughs> <laughs> have you got one? No, no, no. We don't. We don't tend to do welding jobs. Oh, bad, uh, we, leave, we, leave, we leave that again. We leave that sort of thing to the professionals of welding. But yes. I mean, you can arrange that. I, I, I wouldn't. We wouldn't be able to. No. No, but your company will arrange it. Our, our company wouldn't be able to. We just. We're just independent from. It would be. It would oh, have to I be. See. We. We just. We just. You. We just. So he also have to arrange it. Yeah. That. That's. So you're like a. You're like a, a investigator for insurance claims. Basically, yeah. yeah. We come out and determine exactly what is needed, and uh, we tell them, and then if you know, yeah. whatever they decide to do, that's okay. is uh, beyond our control. No, I'm not. I'm not entering into a contract with you. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I stand it out every day. No, Linda said that she'd get a report, and there was no guarantee that they'd do the work. Yeah, well, we'll yeah, we'll pass the information to them, and then. But if they don't, uh, I, I can uh, claim, you know, the thousand pounds that will cost me to yeah. have someone come here and do it. Right. Off the manufacturer. Right. Okay. <laughs> but they won't give me the. They won't bother to look up who made it. Yeah. They've got a. They've got an office. In Italy, that sources all their gear, they get a huge amount of. They have truckloads coming every yeah. day, and they would, from a picture, would certainly remember who yeah. made them because they, no. they were similar chairs were being sold at, at a much higher class uh, Italian manufacturer in Selfridges, and I thought, oh, this is a cheaper one. Right, I buy it okay. in the hills, but obviously, same ma manufacturer. So, so Did you hear about the guy that had a, a workshop making furniture on his own? And got a loan from the EU funds, you know, for free. Really? And now he's the biggest manufacturer of Italian furniture. It's mad, isn't it? So you, you, you have to just start one guy. You, you just have to, have to start buy it from somewhere, you didn't you? But he knew where to get the money. Yeah. And the EU, what a contract. Yeah. Just imagine that. that. We should be making them here. <laughs> well, you used to. I was speaking to a customer earlier, saying that you yeah. know these, that, that there isn't a lot of English-based furniture. Manufacturers in this country anymore. Like the the only ones that um, you know I know of used to be in High Wycombe, uh -huh. um, and that's why High Wycombe Football Club, the nickname mm -hmm. of the Chairboys, uh -huh. because of that reason. Because th there was a lot of that industry inside of High, High Wycombe, which um, what a know, shame. I know, but it also you know the economy and everything sort of dwindles out, and uh, you know. That sort of no, stuff it's, a, it's a matter of scale, isn't it? That's how he's so rich. He, he can do some yeah. a huge factory so cheaply and yeah. sell them euro wide. Yeah, I know it's. Mad. We're, we're not using that uh, mentality. I know that it's a single. Well, you look market. how you look how good China are doing. You know, money wise, they're making so much money, and it's because they make everything inside and sell it on outside. You know, it's mad. Well, they, they've you know they've kept their. Currency low, so we can't compete with them. Yeah, the, current, right. the currency war. Yeah, that's it. Um, right, so I'll get, I'll get all that written up, and then uh, we'll, yeah. we'll send that so to So what was your name? Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. No worries. Yeah, sorry about uh, the, the, the the street uh, when you turn right. Yeah. Uh, as you go out, the, the next street on your right. I think there is some free bays down there. Oh, is there? If anyone comes out to yeah, no, fix it. it was lucky because the, the the manager was saying, look, you know, you've got to make a judgment call because obviously he's not here to see it. And I was saying there are tailway signs that's up right. there, you know, and everything was flashing red in my head. And yeah, that's where the anyone legally parking there because the t fire tenders have to get down there. Right. Okay. But obviously they don't. They haven't got the brains to put a little bay for. Yeah. I, I had my wallpaper done from an insurance. Yeah. And he had his right. van towed away. Really. And he had, it was quite clear he was here on business. Yeah. So they can't do that now. They've changed the law. Oh, okay. So on private property, you're safe. Yeah, the guy did say downstairs that you know traffic orders wouldn't, wouldn't be able to touch you on here because it's not you know it's not really? the council. It's private. Yeah, but they should be, they should ha ha have a little bay there. Yeah, they should for, just to make it delivery. a little bit easier. Yeah. Yeah, because they have my food delivered and everything. Yeah. All right, mate. So sorry about the trouble and wasting right, your no, time. All right, mate. You have a good Thanks day. a lot, mate. You have a good day. Yeah, well done. All Thank right, you. Bye.